Okay. So, last time, last Tuesday, kita saya dah cover tentang introduction to the internet. Um, kita dah tengok apakah itu internet dan kelebihan dan keburukan internet tu. Okay. And kalau if you guys realize from the lecture slide that I've shared with you yesterday, I've added a few extra slides. And before we go into our lecture today, I will recap first lah on what we have learned last Tuesday. Okay? Okay, so in the previous class, we have discussed about the video, right? The video that I've shared in the Telegram group which is the the video is about what is internet generally kan kita dah tengok dalam video tu dia berbincang tentang apakah itu internet dan kita pun dah tahu siapakah co-creator of the internet which is Vint Cerf tu kan saya akan go through laju ya slide ni sebab benda ni saya dah cover last uh, Tuesday dan kita dapat tahu kenapa mostly uh, semua orang cannot describe internet very well because we tend to take it for granted because, um, since the internet is a common thing okay so dalam previous lecture hari selasa yang lepas kita dah tengok what is the internet and advantages and disadvantages of the internet and hari ni kita akan cover tentang intranet dan extranet okay so sebelum tu kita recap dulu Sebelum you guys nak sebelum nak nak fahamkan introduction to the internet ni kamu semua kena tengok dulu what is network okay network ni kita dah cover dalam previous lecture kan so network is a collection of computers and mobile devices that connected together often via wirelessly often wirelessly or wired via communication devices and transmission media Semua ingat kan communication device tu apa saya dah mention. Adakah telefon tu communication device? Siapa boleh jawab? Bukan. Okay, good. Communication device kat sini. Yes. Communication device dekat in terms of this network definition, it means on how the network are going to communicate. So the network are going to communicate with the help of router, modem, okay, and transmission media. Saya dah mention, saya dah highlight kan on how to remember on the on how to easily remember what is transmission media from the name itself. Transmission media bermaksud benda yang kita tolong transmit media kan melalui apa? Melalui kabel. Then from previous lecture juga kita dah tengok ada beberapa jenis kabel. Okay, antaranya uh, it can be uh, twisted pair cable, coaxial cable dengan fiber optic cable. You and then lepas kita tengok definition of network, kita tengok definition of the internet. Internet ni pula is a worldwide collection of networks that links millions of businesses, government, agency, educational institutions and individuals. Okay, lepas kita dah tengok definition internet dan network, what are the difference between these two? Kan? Apa difference dia? Okay. Difference between network and internet ni adalah internet ni is a part of the network. And from previous lecture also, I've mentioned that internet is the biggest example for wide area network. Uh, what area network ni apa? Ialah salah satu jenis network architecture. Cuba siapa boleh bagi tahu saya apa lagi satu network architecture yang kita dah cover dalam previous lecture? Yes, local. Yes, good. Local Apa dia? Local area network Betul LAN and WAN Simple kan? Definition pun kita tengok simple Daripada nama pun kita dah tahu Definition dia Wide and local And dalam lecture saya yang lepas Saya juga ada sentuh tentang Advantages of the internet Dan saya dah highlightkan dalam In the green Itu keyword untuk senang anda ingat So first 
internet helps uh, provide you an easy access to many kind of information online. And I and I have also include extra knowledge kat bawah tu on definition for subject directory and search engine. Kalau kalau ada yang dah tak faham. Okay. And second point of advantages is with the help of internet, dia muncul uh, menyebabkan apa? Orang kata wujudnya online services tu dan this online services ni akan membantu kita untuk memudahkan kerja harian. Okay? Macam online banking, application, hotel reservation, banyak lagi. Kemudian, another advantages of internet. Yang ketiga, internet helps the businesses to grow. By how? By, how? by, by allowing the users, allowing the businesses to buy and sell products online. Okay? And advantages yang terakhir ialah internet helps you or allow you to download and upload any kind of software, file, program and most of them are free. So this is the huge advantages of internet. Okay, bila kita dah tengok kelebihan, kita akan tengok kekurangan dia pula. Okay, so yang pertama ialah theft of personal information. Obviously, bila dah ada internet dengan internet, there is a wide connectivity and ada internet connection yang laju. Itu so, akan menyebabkan ada setengah orang ni bertindak secara tidak bertanggungjawab untuk mencuri personal information yang personal information anda yang anda telah simpan secara online. Okay? Another disadvantages of internet is spamming. Okay? Due to internet ni is very fast kan we have 4G 3G kan line dia sangat laju yeah. it's unlimited so people tend to use it for like um channel nak kata orang ni mengambil kesempatan lah uh, atas atas ke, kekuatan internet ni untuk menghad untuk spamming orang apa maksud spamming ni spamming ni where people keeps on giving unwanted Uh, email messages or posts to many recipients or news groups at once. Okay. Obviously, when you are on the internet, I mean, we are all on internet, kan? Kita semua dah guna internet. So, secara automatically, memang kita akan senang nak terdedah kepada risiko terkena virus threat. Okay. And last but not least, the disadvantages of internet is pornography. Internet get allows to access the kind this kind of content and un, uh, unlimited. So let's become a responsible person to say no, like this Donald Trump here, to this pornographic punya content. Okay, semua dah besar. Yeah, semua dah besar. Semua tahu baik buruk, pahala dosa kan? Nah, janganlah ya. Okay. So dah cover kita dah recap. So hari ni dalam kelas hari ni kita akan tengok intranet and extranet. So at the end of this lesson, you must be able to explain the use of internet technologies in intranet and extranet. Okay? Jom kita tengok dulu intranet. Intranet, the definition. A private network that uses internet and belong to an enterprise or organization and only accessible for the authorized users are known as employees. Okay? So, far, semua boleh ikut? Boleh. Okay, good. Okay. And then, we can see how intranet ni menggunakan internet ni. Okay, internet ni membantu intranet. Dari segi, inter, the internet helps intranet in providing information for organization employees. Second, it provides a secure space for storing information. Information apa? Information seperti telefon directories, employee information and email. Okay, so internet ni dapat membantu intranet dalam yang pertama, provide information for yang kedua, provide a secure space for storing. Okay? Kemudian, let's see on apakah itu kelebihan intranet. What are the advantages of the intranet? 
So first, the commercial or any kind of data that is being stored in in that network, in intranet network, is secured. Okay. And second, all the email that have been all the emails that have been controlled by the organization is being kept. It's remained private and may also encrypted. Maksudnya orang luar tak boleh nak access kepada email kita ataupun data-data yang disimpan dalam intranet. Yang ketiga, or the third point is high bandwidth, meaning high, meaning faster data transfer rate. Because of the intranet is very limited to only one organization, so it means there will be less people using the network. So, bila bila orang yang menggunakan network tu kurang maka dia punya network connection dia akan jadi laju itulah maksudnya dengan high bandwidth okey dia ada connection limit tak macam internet internet is unlimited sebab itulah sometimes internet bila kita nak access internet internet kita jadi slow ataupun lambat sebab ramai yang menggunakan network yang sama okey Okay, good. So, bila kita dah tengok kelebihan, mesti akan ada keburukan dia. So, apa keburukan intranet ni? Yang pertama sekali, kelemahan dari segi user dia sendiri. Why and how? Meaning, the user have like, macam nak kata, the user in the, or we can say the employee, in the organization may have lack of knowledge or lack of information on how to create a strong password or maybe lack of knowledge on how to differentiate which one is malware which one is spyware maksudnya kekur, uh, keburukan intranet ni adalah disebabkan oleh orang-orang di dalam network tu sendiri mungkin orang-orang dalam dia tak ada tidak ada pengetahuan tentang macam mana nak create Uh, password yang kuat ataupun macam mana nak differentiate mana satu malware mana satu spyware bila dapat link dia terus tekan dia tak dia tak tahu yang untuk differentiate bila dan sepatut bila untuk tekan bila dapat link yang suspicious ni dia tak tahu dia tak boleh bezakan ha, tu kelemahan intranet ni lah dan yang kedua ha. malware dan spyware ni Okey, kalau ada yang, kalau siapa ada yang confused, nanti saya akan letakkan definition dia dekat dalam slide, okey? Supaya anda boleh tengok compare dia. Dia bukan saya saya tak nak cakap lebih-lebih pasal okey spyware ni apa, malware ni apa supaya you guys tak confused. And I will just add the knowledge or the definition macam tadi extra knowledge tu, okey dalam slide. Nanti saya letak lepas habis kelas. Okey. Next point for this advantages of internet is the file safety, obviously. So, bila ramai orang, I mean, bila semua pekerja, kan, dalam satu network tu, work on the same file, so ada kemungkinan yang tinggi, there will be high possibility that file akan terdelete ataupun di ataupun damage. Maksudnya, dia dah korab lah, tak boleh nak buka ke apa. Sebab kan, file tu senang nak access oleh orang-orang dalam network tersebut. Okey, faham tak? So far. Kurang kurang faham, okey. Okey, dalam intranet ni kan. Kita tengok tadi, intranet is a private network kan. And then dia dia dalam within organization tu. Maksudnya, macam kita tu boleh tengok contoh dalam a uh, college matriculasi negeri Sembilan ni. Okay, orang-orang yang boleh guna network atau wifi Negeri Sembilan ni hanyalah pekerja, lecturer ataupun students dalam area college Negeri Sembilan kan. Okay, let's say kita lecturer ni nak guna file kan. File tu sangat mudah diakses oleh semua, semua lecturer di dalam matrik Negeri Sembilan. Okay, dan bila file tu dah ramai contoh saya ada file A ni, saya pergi akses, Madam City pergi akses. Okay. Uh, madam madam lain semua pergi akses Dari unit lain pun akses juga file yang sama Bila kita do edit, edit, edit Dan file tu ada kemungkinan Ada seorang tu eh terdelete pula Allah habis Kemudian ataupun file tu sendiri yang dah 
corrupt ataupun damage sebab dia dah tak boleh nak update dia dah tak tahu which one is the latest update that's what it means by damage okay dan yang user weaknesses tu pula kalau contohnya dalam college metric ni kan saya for example saya tak pandai macam mana nak create strong password so Lecturer lain mungkin boleh senang je nak guess saya punya password macam mana. Ha, faham tak? Ataupun saya ni tak reti, tak reti nak beza. Mana satu uh, ni link ni legit ke tak ni? Boleh tak tekan? So, saya minta tekan je. Bila saya tekan, habis semua the whole uh, network dalam kamera S ni down. Ha, sebab dah masuk dah, dah masuk virus. Faham tak? Ha, itulah kekurangan intranet tu disebabkan oleh orang-orang dalam organisation tu sendiri. Okay? Okay. So, now kita tengok intranet, kita tengok extranet pula. Okay. What is extranet? Extranet similar dengan intranet, dua-dua private network. Beza dia adalah it connects more than one organisation. Okay? Untuk work together but organisation luar ni dia ada limited access to the network. Okay, so intranet, extranet, dua-dua private network. And intranet dah ada circle yang kecil. Kemudian extranet ni pula, dia merangkumi intranet ni. Tapi at the same time, dia ada orang luar juga yang boleh access. Cuma dia punya access tu tak, orang kata limited lah compared to orang yang dalam intranet tu. Faham tak? Tapi dia orang work together in one network. Saya nak cerita, the keyword here is intranet, inside. In, intranet, inside. Itruk. Lepas tu, extra. Kan, extra. Maksudnya extra. Orang lebihan. Maksudnya, kita tengok uh, organisasi yang lebih. Luar daripada network kita. Ada senang cerita, ada setengah lecturer suka guna perkataan macam introvert ataupun extrovert kan. Ha, introvert macam nak dalam circle dia je kan. Dia tak selesai orang luar. Tapi kalau extrovert, dia boleh jumpa dengan orang luar. Okay? Cuma, beza dia kat sini, extranet, dia dia allow orang luar untuk join sekali. Cuma dia ada limited access. Okay? Macam contoh dalam tadi contoh saya guna KMS tu kan. Uh, macam contoh mak ayah awak uh, mak ayah awak nak access apa website KMNS dan dia nak tengok e-doc HD kan for example kalau saya lecturer saya boleh access e-doc HD dan saya boleh tengok okey siapa tak datang siapa yang ponteng uh, siapa yang ada surat uh, tidak hadir bersebab tapi kalau parents awak nak tengok e-doc HD dia orang tak boleh access ha faham tak itulah bezanya antara extranet dan intranet Okay, so far semua okay. Ada confused tak mana-mana? Ada soalan? Okay. Okay. Once we look at the definition of extranet, kita tengok pula how the internet being used in extranet. Okay, internet helps the extranet by providing uh, the organisations to securely share part of business information with outside with the outside with outside people like suppliers vendor partner customer okey so kita ingat kegunaan internet dalam extranet ni dia membolehkan organisation tu untuk share maklumat-maklumat maklumat-maklumat yang confidential dengan orang luar dengan orang luar tapi secara securely lah maksudnya secara yang uh, dengan security yang tinggi maksudnya selamat ok dan kita tengok apa itu kelebihan extranet tu so obviously bila kita dah guna extranet maksudnya orang luar kan orang luar dah boleh guna maksudnya dah bertambah orang boleh guna so dia membolehkan kita untuk exchange large volumes of data menggunakan electronic data interchange ok dan yang kedua Disebabkan kita able to um, allow people from outside of our organization to join the network. So, we are able to share the products exclusively with them. And the third point, obviously, organizations from different kind of company, again, different company or different organization are able to collaborate together because of 
the extra net ni. Okay? Then, lepas dah tengok advantages, mesti akan ada disadvantages. Artinya, iaitu kekurangan extra net ni. Apa dia pula? Yang pertama, disebabkan dia perlu ramai orang lagi dia nak, dia nak control kan. So, it can be very expensive in implementing and maintain the network itself within the organisation. Boleh jadi mahal eh, nak implement dan maintain sebab lagi ramai orang kita nak kita nak cover kan. Kemudian Sekejap ya. Okay. Kemudian disadvantages of extra net ni yang paling ketara sekali lah bila kita dah share kan maklumat-maklumat yang sensitif kepada organisation luar so there will be the there will be a possibility where the sensitive information falling into the wrong hands maksudnya ada orang akan cubalah ha, cuba mendapatkan maklumat tu secara dan cuba akan menggunakan information tu secara tidak betul ok Then the third point for these advantages of extranet ni, dia akan menyebabkan since everything been done online kan, orang share, orang buat meet, orang buat I mean meeting semua buat online, share file, share folder semua buat online ni, so dia akan menyebabkan ada lack of connections made between people and a company. Maksudnya kita punya connection secara face to face tu akan lagi kurang. Sebab kita banyak semua perkara berlaku secara alam maya kan. Ha, so, dia, meri, dia reduce personal contact. Okay. So far, so good everyone? Yes, miss. Okay, good. Okay, another point for this advantages of internet. Oh, ni, ni dah repeat ni, sorry. Saya tengok balik. Alright. So, now kita tengok. Internet, intranet, extranet. Ha. Apa perbezaan dan persamaan di antara tiga-tiga ni kan? Okay, macam tadi kita dah tahu, intranet dan extranet ni dua-dua private. So, it is typically restricted to employees and other authorized user. Okay? Ha, ini diagram dia. Tapi pada diagram ni, kita dapat tengok. Boleh nampak jelas tak diagram ni? Okay, good. Jelas sikit. <laughs> okay, tak apa. Nanti awak, bila awak boleh access ke, awak download slide ni, awak nampak lah. Saya dah make sure yang awak punya diagram ni clear untuk awak tengok dan faham. Okay, macam kat sini. Kita tengok. Intranet ni kan. Kita tengok. Intranet ni, dia, kita perasan tau, komputer dia semua dalam satu, dia orang di cover dalam satu area sahaja dan dia uh, di protect Okay, diprotect oleh firewall. Okay, so all information if they want to share with others, they need to go through the firewall first. Okay, and then go through the internet server lah. Internet kat sini. Sebab kat internet tu besar, internet tu dia merangkumi intranet dan extranet. Okay, so kita tengok ni intranet. Okay, extranet pula ni, kan macam tadi dia allow people from outside of organisations to also access the server inside the intranet. Cumanya, dia akan ada limited access. Dia tak akan access sama, dia akan tak ada sama access. Saya nak cakap, customer ataupun any people from outside of the organization could not have the same access with the employees, with the authorized user in the intranet tu. Okay? Okay. So next ada lagi satu diagram. Ha, kita tengok kat sini. Kita tengok intranet ni within the company itself. Okay, intranet within the company. And extranet is termasuk dengan intranet tapi dia akan ada tambahan can be supplier, partner ke siapa-siapa lah, vendor ke. Kemudian kita ada yang lebih besar ni internet. Okay, internet melibatkan dunia. So, internet 
So intranet is a part of extranet and both intranet and extranet is a part of internet. Okay. So basically internet intranet ni is a shared content that can be accessed only by members within a single organization. Extranet ni pula is a shared content can only be accessed by groups through cross enterprise boundaries. Okay. And third, internet is a global communication that can be accessed through the web. Okay. Dah boleh nampak dah perbezaan antara internet, internet, intranet dan extranet. Semua boleh? Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Okay. So now, I need point dia. Okay. Apa perbezaan dia? Dari segi definition, types of users, penggunaan, usage, security, accessibility, information. Okay. So kita go through one by one. Okay. Dari segi definition. Internet is a worldwide collection of networks. Okay. It's a global kan. Tadi kita tengok global. So dia secara dunia. Worldwide. But then for intranet. It's a private network that uses the internet but then it only belong to a certain organization or enterprise. Okay? And only accessible for the authorized employees or users. Okay? And then for extranet, it is a private network that uses the internet as well but then it connects more than one organization. Okay, they allow people from different organization to work together, but then the people from outside of the organization, sorry, people from the outside of the network will have limited access to the network. Okay, and the second point is type of users. Kalau internet, they accessible to everyone. Okay, all around the world, but then for intranet only accessible to authorized employees only dia sangat orang kata introvert kan dia macam selesa dalam circle dia je dia tak nak orang lain ha. dia accessible only orang yang dalam network tu ok for extranet pula dia sama macam intranet cuma dia dia can be accessed by outside partner by outside authorized partner Cuma ni dia tak boleh access semua benda lah kan. Dia ada limit, dia ada uh, certain access saja, limited access. Then type of user for extranet ni, dia accessible by company employees and authorized partner. Outside authorized partner macam customer, suppliers and business partner. Dari segi penggunaan pula, internet, it helps you, it can helps everyone by providing information okay internet ni dia kita boleh access to any kind of information kita boleh kita boleh cari macam-macam jenis information melalui internet okay tapi penggunaan untuk intranet pula dia hanya untuk provide information for the organization employees macam telefon kan macam maklumat uh, maklumat awak lah employee, employee information kan macam dalam KMNS tadi, uh, maklumat uh, information KMNS, KMNS maksudnya okay, awak ni dari kelas mana, okay, awak berapa orang dalam satu kuliah, uh, lepas tu awak punya metric number, awak punya record tidak ketidakhadiran, semua tu lah. Uh, semua tu hanya akses, semua tu dipanggil, semua semua maklumat tu akan disimpan dalam satu network dipanggil intranet. Okay, that is untuk penggunaan extranet pula for the usage of extranet is it provides information to suppliers, customer, business partner in terms of how, in terms of they allow like maybe assess certain data ataupun maybe check the status and also send email. Okay, ha, macam tadi contoh yang saya guna ibu bapa awak. So ibu bapa, ibu bapa awak hanya boleh akses certain perkara saja dia boleh mungkin send email kepada lecturer awak ataupun dia boleh check status kan maklumat-maklumat macam pengumuman ke apa melalui website KMNS okey 
dari segi security pula internet is very loose because everyone kan everyone can join from any part of the world but then for internet is higher because it's only accessible for their own employees only so they will need a higher security supaya dia tak bagi orang lain masuk okey extranet pun sama high dia punya security pun akan tinggi compared to internet sebab dia memerlukan certain orang sahaja boleh access tak semua orang boleh access okey dari segi accessibility is unlimited okey for internet for intranet and extranet okey both is private but then for intranet intra restricted extra net extra maksudnya outside authorized partner dia mesti authorized juga orang luar tu mesti kena authorized okey dan terakhir sekali point information maksudnya what kind of information yang terdapat dalam internet dia punya information dia adalah general public and advertisement lah ada banyak advertisement iklan kan kalau dalam intranet pula specific information dia kena semua specific corporate maksudnya untuk kerja dan appropriate uh, sorry proprietary dan untuk extranet this information dia sama saja apa yang information yang ada dalam extranet sama saja dalam intranet cuma information tu akan dikongsikan dengan orang yang serta-serta orang saja yang di authorize okay authorized collaborating group okay so far okay semua okay miss okay so dalam exam bila dia tanya difference, uh, difference between internet intranet extranet you can refer to this point okay kena menghafal lah kalau belok sebenarnya faham and you guys can uh, explain it in your own words okay okay tadi kita dah tengok perbezaan now we're going to look at the similarities persamaan antara internet intranet dan extranet ni okay tiga-tiga ni memang digunakan untuk share information untuk provide information antara satu sama lain dan ketiga-tiga ni juga menggunakan TCP IP protocol. Dia menggunakan protokol yang sama. They use the same TCP IP protocol. What is TCP and IP? Okay, you need to find it on your own. If you, I will add the definition also in the same slide, okay, after the class. Okay. Bila semua dah cover tadi, dah tahu intranet, extranet tu apa, in definition of intranet dengan extranet, lepas tu kita tengok dia punya perbezaan dia dengan internet kita tengok persamaan dia pula dengan intra, uh, dengan internet dan jom kita tengok pula one of the past year question ok, PSPM 2017-2018 ok the question says like this the internet is an electronic communication network that connects computer network and organizational computer facilities around the world. Okay, to basically dia bagi tahu dia punya definition of internet. And then dia kata explain the following terms. Okay, yang pertama intranet. Tadi siapa boleh siapa boleh bagi tahu intranet ni apa? Cubalah open mic tu cakap. Simple saja. Tadi kita dah cover. Intranet tu adalah private network. Takkanlah private network. Private network that in one one other. In is a they use internet technology. Aha, they use internet. Okay, it's a private network that use internet and only Okay. Yes, only accessible by the authorized employees. Okay, by the organization. Ingat, intranet is a private network that use internet that belongs to an organization and can only access by the authorized 
users or employees. Okay? Okay. What about extranet? Okay. Apa pula extranet? Okay, extranet tu apa? Pertama sekali, dia private ke public? Private. Okay, dia private. Then, dia belong kepada, dia belong kepada satu organisation ke atau lebih? Yes, more than one. So, yes. So, bila dia more than one organisation, bermakna dia akan boleh diakses oleh orang luar. Yes, orang luar yang out. Yes, yang orang luar yang diauthorized only. Okay? Dia boleh akses oleh orang luar? Ya. Yeah. Dia boleh akses oleh orang luar tapi dia kenalah diauthorize juga. Orang luar yang diauthorize. Okay? Okay. So, this is the end of our lesson. So, by the end of this, kamu semua dah tak patutnya tahu apakah itu internet, kelebihan dan kekurangan internet, apakah itu intranet, apakah itu extranet, kan? So, um, kegunaan intranet, internet untuk intranet dan extranet dan boleh tengok boleh compare dari segi persamaan dan perbezaan. Okay, so so far semua.